Hi, so I'm Louisa, and hopefully you just watched the video I have on my website about telling all about synesthesia and what it is. So now I'm going to tell you what I see when I listen to music or see letters. So for me, my synesthesia is all based on color and texture. So to people who have synesthesia, this video will make total sense. You'll be like, aha, but to other people who don't have it, it'll make no sense at all. Trust me, I've tried explaining it to people who don't have it, and they just give me blank looks. So, for me, when I listen to music, each note has a different color. Or each instrument has a different color, and, it, and it's like a ribbon, and it rises with the pitch and fall. And so, when you have a violin, and it's, it, it, it goes like this, and it goes up and down, kind of like a lie detector would go. The little line on a lie detector. Um, so... My favorite instrument, one of my favorite instruments is the cello because it has these really nice colors. It has these deep indigos and purples and wine colors. And it has really big ribbons and it, it goes across and it's really nice. Um, I also perceive white noise like the, like the thump of a door opening or the clicking or the clicking and clacking of the washing machine behind me. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can. Um, that is, has sort of texture. I, I, that's the way I can describe it. Texture or form. It, it, to me, it looks like what it sounds like. I don't know if that makes sense, but to me, it does. So, the, that, that looks like what it sounds like. It, it's shaped like what it sounds like. Um, white noise doesn't have color. It's just a shape. Um, most people, the most common form of synesthesia, which I have written up, is perceiving, is associating um, colors with letters and numbers, or days, uh, or months, or years, or, or the calendar. Um, so for me, the first three letters of the alphabet are A, B, C, and they're red, blue, and yellow. And I have someone in my class who's also synesthetic, and those are she um, associates those three colors with the same letters. And I thought that was interesting, because if you ever pay attention to it, those are the three colors you always see on children's blocks. So I was, all, I was thinking, well, if those are always the three colors, then of course my brain would make that association. But all the other, co all the other letters are different colors. D is like blue, F is green, G is green, J is green, K is orange, L is light blue, M is maroon, N is pinky purpley color, um, so on and so forth. Z, I don't really like Z, it looks just like static, it, it's not very fun. Um, also, pain sometimes has color, like when I stub my toe, it's flashing bright white. Or when I get a sore throat, it, it looks scratchy, and it, 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 it's like a red-orange. It's not a happy color. It's a painful color when you get a sore throat. Um, I hurt my ankle really bad a few months ago, and that was a weird throbbing bluish color, but kind of like a bruise, and it wasn't fun. Um, so that's my little video telling what my synesthesia is like. Maybe I, hopefully I'll be able to put up a place where you guys can send me videos. I have a comments box where you can send comments about if you are a synesthete or asking questions what it's like. Or, um, or just tell me what you see and hear and taste and feel. Um, so that'd be great if you could connect to me. Thanks.